one team kitchen. I'm going to introduce to you my holiday bark that I enjoy doing with my niece and nephew over the holidays. So it's a great thing to do with kids, very easy to make, very safe. So with that being said, I'm going to introduce my happy little helpers, my niece Perry and my nephew Brett. Come on in guys. Hello. Hi. So in order to make your holiday bark, you just need three simple ingredients. You need your dark chocolate chips, you need your white chocolate chips, and I could not find candy canes at the store, so I went with spearmints, but either way, it's peppermint, so it works. All right, so our first step was mashing up our candy canes. As you can see, the kids did a great job getting those nice and mashed up. So for our next step, Miss Perry is going to pour the chocolate chips into the container, into the pot, and we are going to begin to melt down this chocolate. As you can see, you got to constantly stir this uh, dark chocolate until it completely melts down. And then we will spread it onto the pan once it is completely done. All right, as you can see, our dark chocolate is all the way melted down. So what we are going to do is put it on a cookie sheet that we have covered with aluminum foil. We're going to get all that chocolate out of there. It smells delicious. It smells like the Hershey Chocolate Factory in here. So once you get all of that out of your pan, you want to spread it as thin and evenly as you can. It doesn't have to cover the whole sheet because you're gonna break it up in the end anyway, as long as it is super, super spread out, you will be good. Keep doing that a little bit. All right, now that it's nice and thinned out, we are gonna put this in the fridge to let it cool while we move on to the white chocolate. Okay, so now that we have our dark chocolate done, we're having that rest in the fridge for a little bit. We're gonna move on to melting our white chocolate. And it is 12 ounces of white chocolate. And Miss Perry here is going to do all of the stirring and the melting of the white chocolate. So again, the most important part here is to make sure that you continue to stir the chocolate. It's going really good. Chocolate's starting to melt. Okay. And when you guys think the chocolate is fully done, you should <laughs> stop your timer and we'll show you the next step. Okay, but you want to keep stirring there a little bit. And remember, we're going to mix in some of these peppermints. Mm hmm Okay, you're going to start putting a little bit in there, okay? Alrighty. Alright. Keep going. Keep mixing. Don't add all your sugar. I mean, all your... Peppermint. Peppermints. Because you'll need it. Because you'll need it. To drizzle on the top. So at this point you want to put a little bit in. I think we can put a little bit more. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. A little bit more. Alright. Keep going. Alright. How's it melting? Pretty good? Yep. You got any big chunks in there? Or you think we're, we're good to go? I think we're good. Okay. Now that the white chocolate is done, great job, Perry. Mm. Uh, we're gonna use our little spatula, which we did spray with Pam to have this come out a lot easier. So we can spread this around. And there you go. Now that we have our bark all done, Brett here is going to drizzle the rest of the stuff on top. So go ahead, Brett. Hmm? Okay, and I'm gonna spread it out. Okay, and here you have our finished product. Now Perry and Brett, they are gonna mash this up and we're gonna plate it up and it's gonna look gorgeous for our holiday party. Okay, and here's our finished products. Brett Perry, take a bite, what do you think? Mmm, that's delicious. Good, mm. right? Cool. That's good. All right, well, why don't we say happy holidays to everybody? Happy, happy holidays! holidays.